yesterday, y'all, here I got my sun-kissed hair. And so I leave from here, and Jody's on my hip, and we uh we go on the Circle K to go get, you know, I want to go, I always get me a big, uh, I love Pepsi, love Pepsi, too, okay? So I go get me a Pepsi, 44 ounce, 89 cents, 96 cents with tax, holler. So I goes and I get me a drink and stuff. As I'm getting out the car, I'm telling Jody, I said, girl, they over here live and direct. It was bros just sitting outside a Circle K for whatever reason. I don't know. But they were sitting out in front of Circle K. So I was like, okay, here we go with this shit. Y'all, I get out the car. So I was like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I had on my little shorts and little tank top, stomach, belly, belly ring out a little bit. Whatever. Anyway... I goes in the store, as I'm getting out the truck and I'm seeing them looking and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, here we go, youngsters, you know what I'm saying? And so I go in the store and the dude is just standing there like, you know, he just standing in the, in the store just like staring. And I'm like, okay, here we go, here we go with this right here. But how about this chick though, this chick? You know, um, she's standing over there, she getting her a drink or whatever. At first, I thought she was a dude, you know what I'm saying, from the back because, you know, she had on the big jean shorts and shit like a man, long top and all that other kind of old shit. I thought it was a dude. Hair was like this short with the little curly, little curly afro fade. It was nice, though, little, you know, faded, little sideburn shit going on right here. I mean, she really looked like a dude. I thought it was a dude from the back. Two little studs in, looked real Real fine as fuck, but I thought it was a man. Anyway, and so she was like, oh, you looking good today? I said, oh, okay. I, you know? And so when I looked at her in her face, I said, this is a fucking chick. And so I was like, oh, well, thank you. I said, look at you. You looking all good today, too. And she got your little jean shorts and shit on. Y'all know I'm real communicable. I talk to people, and I think... You know, that's what be pissing some folks off, especially like Jody. Why you always got to talk to every goddamn body? Why you always got to be all friendly? Well, that's just my personality, Jody. She be like, you be talking to every motherfucking body. Just get your ass in the car. Shit, you ain't, you always, motherfuckers always stopping and talking and you kikiing and all. Okay. So, yeah. So I said it when I talked to the chick yesterday. The chick was on my bumper. She was like, well, um, um, what you finna do today? I was like, well, shit, I'm just gonna give me something to eat and go and go watch Bill Cunningham. And that's what I, that's what I'm finna do. Shit, what you finna do? Oh, well, I'm just trying to figure out what you finna do. Maybe I need to go buy some lunch for somebody or something. I was like, oh, well, you know what? Maybe I might have to get a rain check on that right there because I got some shit to do. I got some things to do, you know? And then plus, you know, nigga, I was, I was hungry, but nah, I just, you know, mm-mm. No, no, that's what I was putting on my Facebook. I'm trying to put it on my Facebook and show y'all the picture yesterday of me yesterday. I think the picture came up, I think, but I had put on there this chick and this dude trying to holler at me, Circle K. Anyway, so I'm, you know, talking to her and everything, you know, she was like, okay, well, can I get a number or something to call you? And I didn't give her my number. And so I was like, well, you know what, I really got a dude, you know, and... You know, he's a little jealous, you know, do be trying to check for me, you know, checking my phone and shit while I'm sleeping. Motherfucker be, you know, breathing and, and sniffing in my crotch and my jeans and shit. And yeah, that's the kind of dude I got, y'all. Yeah. Shit. I don't know what the fuck that do, but he worse than my goddamn dog. My dog, when he comes in my room, you know what? I do got hot britches because when, you know... My dog, I said, okay, here he go, sugar britches. Girl, when Sebastian come in his door, he come in here looking for my goddamn pants. Y'all tell me what the fuck that means, for real. Because y'all know I don't wear no panties. I just I just don't. But when you don't wear panties, you got to be super duper clean, because otherwise you'll be making bread, meaning you'll be building yeast. That's not my shit. So by me being super duper clean, I be on that peppermint. You understand what I'm saying, ladies? So... But when my dog comes in here, he goes and gets my pants and just drags my jeans and shit all through the house. And I'm like, what is going on? Now here, right here, y'all, here go my boxers, okay? Hold on. Now I wear my, I wear kids' boxers as shorts, okay? 
Now, here's my boxers, right? They right here on the floor. Why? Because Sebastian had them and was running through the house with them. And I was like, if you don't bring me back my damn pants, my little boxers that I had on yesterday, these are Kenny's. These are um, 2X Kenny's boxers. So, anyway, uh, so, y'all, oh, my God. Kenny is the same fucking way. Y'all, how about, let me tell you what how nasty this nigga is, okay? The other day, okay, we didn't just had relations. You know what I'm saying? We had some sexual relations. And so sometimes, you know, I get real sexified on his ass. And I go in, go in and throw me a little, do a little, you know, little naggy little, you know, lace little old get down. And see, he like little, um, Kenny likes um, G-strings and shit like that. So I had put this G-string on with this. You know, this corset hookup. Oh, I fucked his ass up, y'all. I put that shit, drank me a little quarantine on that ass. Nigga, I was fucking the hell out of him, nigga. And I'm on the bottom. I fucked the hell out of that man the other day. Anyway, after he took my motherfucking G-string off, y'all. Now, this is not for the weak or the weary. So, if this is something that you can't handle, I suggest you go ahead on. You turn on over there to go watch somebody else. I don't even know. I don't know. Go see what somebody else is doing. But anyway, for those of you my motherfuckers that's a little brave, check this out. How about he put my motherfucking G, G string over his motherfucking head like this, y'all, and was in there cooking. I said, nigga, if you don't get that shit off your motherfucking head right the fuck right now, he put that whole motherfucking G string around his motherfucking head, y'all. And I mean, was walking around this motherfucker like it's a necklace. I said, nigga, if you don't get that shit off your motherfucking head right the fuck right now, didn't give a damn. I mean, he didn't give a damn. I said, oh, okay. He was like, shit, this shit smell good as fuck. This shit, this shit keep my dick hard as fuck. I said, okay. No problem. Shit. Uh, shit, a little peppermint soak and a little, little bit of that, um, um, this scent that I bought y'all from, um, um, the body shop. He loves that shit. I can't think of the name of it and shit. It's Bakula. Moroccan Bakula. Anyway, that's what I was donning on that night. This was, what, Friday night? Yeah. So, y'all, he had my motherfucking G-string around his motherfucking neck. And I said, okay, now here we go with this shit. I mean, he's so sick with it, y'all. I mean, this nigga's sick with it. And when I come in, it's like as soon as I come in the door, he's looking at me like, okay, when you gonna take your pants off? Because as soon as I come over to Ken's house, I just get fucking get naked. You know, I'm just keeping it honest and, and up front like a motherfucker. I'll be over there cooking in the nude. I leave my bra on and like my probably, sometimes I just leave a bra on only. Or I just, you know, leave my wife beat her on. But no panties, no nothing. Pussy out. Looking like two pieces of motherfucking baloney. This nigga be digging that shit. I be like, uh, nigga, you want, um, what? You want these, uh, pork chops smothered or you just want them fried? Uh, you want scalloped potatoes or you want smothered? <laughs> we roll, y'all. See, that's the benefit of having a man with his own place because they be freaky as hell and they dig it and they want your ass naked, cooking and clean. I said, oh, okay. Y'all, I was in the bathroom when I was doing my hair and shit, right? And so y'all know how I was. Y'all know the outfit of the day. Naked. I'm sitting there. I had my little bra on and shit. I'm in there doing my hair and shit because I had my, my unit on the wig head, and I had the wig head, you know, on the clamp, and I had it, you know, twisted so to where the hair is, you know, length, uh, chest length, you know, like waist length for me, so then therefore I can manipulate the hair and do all that other kind of stuff. He all just watching and shit, and I'm all bending all over. I was putting a 10 on it too, since I know you watching shit, nigga. Uh, let me go on and bend that on over right there and just kind of wiggle that a little bit since you looking. So let me clap them like no problem. Since you sitting in there and you checking all out, then nigga, I'm going to give you a little show to and shit. No problem, shit. Let me hunch that right there. Don't play. Honey Blonde, okay? <laughs> Let's get back to this Honey Blonde, okay? Now, what I did was, anyway, since I've been so fucking sidetracked at this shit, I used this, uh, right here, this 40, uh, volume. And this is the cream. The cream, to me, is easier to use than the regular liquid because 
the regular liquid would just be all over the place. And this right here is really, it's, you know, it's thick. It has some consistency to it. Like cum. Yeah, it's like thick like cum. Excuse me. Y'all see where my mind is at. So that lets you know what kind of night I had. That's all the fuck I'm going to say about that shit. Anyway. Anyway. So what I did was I took this. I parted the hair off. I braided the back. And then I took this. I parted this down the center so I had two pieces. I took this and I just went from the root all the way down and I saturated the hair really, really good. I took some tin foil, wrapped it all up, bam. This side, wrapped it all up, bam. And then what I did was I didn't add any color. I didn't add no bleach. I didn't add any tint. No, none of that. I just used this only, okay? And it took a long time because a lot of these units and stuff, sometimes they dye them with hair dye, and it's hard to, to dye sometimes your units. So I was like, damn, it's taking a long time for this to develop. But, I mean, for it to lift, but, you know, I don't know how this hair was once dyed, you know. So sometimes the reason why your, your hair is hard to dye because they done processed and dyed that hair with clothes and dyed that rits and shit. Yeah, they be dying that shit with clothes hair and shit sometimes. And so it's hard to just kind of change that color. And then sometimes you get 80-20. Sometimes you get 80% um, human and 20% synthetic. The way you check that hair is burn it a little bit. If it melts, you know you got some synthetic fibers in that hair. Period. And so right now they selling a gang of bullshit. Alibaba and all them motherfuckers, they selling a gang of bullshit out here right now. And motherfuckers is talking about, oh, this is Mongolian, bitch. That is straight Chiquita from Tijuana. And you thinking your shit is on some Mongolian. If you don't get your ass out of here. I mean, how many motherfucking Brazilians you know that actually cut their goddamn hair? You know what I'm saying? So right now, I think motherfuckers is just selling some hair and just putting they, they going over there to Vista Print, getting them some shit to print it up. And they say, okay, well, goddamn it, this is Chinese Remy. Fuck it. You know what I mean? You don't know what the fuck you're getting because, truth be told, unless you're going to definitely just go and get your shit cut off a donor like Janet and them be doing. See, Janet and them, they go out and they send a motherfucker right on to India or wherever the fuck they're trying to go to. And they see somebody with some real bomb ass hair and they tell them, okay, look, check this out. I'll give you such and such euro for or whatever the money thing is and they... Get down, I'll give you such and such and yen you know, or whatever the shit it is and uh, for your hair. I need to cut off 24 inches of your hair. And that's how a lot of them get their hair. I'm telling y'all the inside and I'm telling y'all a secret. But a lot of them get their hair cut right off of somebody. And it's like that's how they know that they know that they know that this hair is human hair. Buying hair that's prepackaged, you don't know what the fuck they done mixed that with. You don't know if all the cuticles is all going in one direction. You don't know what the fuck is going on. See, back in the day when my mama first began weaving, my mom, when, when they was weaving back in the 80s is when it really came real, you know, bomb and everybody was buying that French refined hair. And so my mama had took a class at his and her hair, paid $500 right there in the back. Um, you know, and then they were weaving with this weaving machine. It was like a, um, it was a wooden block and it had three dials of, of thread. And they put the thread on their fingers like this and they would like kind of make welts with their hands some kind of way with the, like, I don't know, sort of like crocheting or knitting or something. And they would make the welt and then they would sew the thread on, you know, sew the hair on the welt that they made or whatever. That's the way they were weaving back in the 80s, the early 80s when they first started doing that. And they were, pay, it was $500 a class. And when they would take you in the back of his and her hair and they would show you how to do that. And so when my mom was doing weaves and shit back when motherfuckers was wearing them soul glows and California curls and Jerry curls and shit, a lot of motherfuckers had a couple of tracks in the back and wasn't nobody saying that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, people were getting a couple of tracks in the back. And so, um, my mom used to buy hair from Afro World, the hair company. The Afro World, which I think is out of St. Louis, Missouri, I think. I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But, and then she would buy hair from his and her, Afro World, and the hair company out of New York City. Those were the three major companies that sold hair back in the day. Now you can buy hair from all over the motherfucking place. This motherfucker selling that shit out the back of that motherfucking trunk like boop. 
uh, name is, my name is Linda and I got, yeah, like that motherfuckers is opening up coats now with all kind of, okay, this right here is a 22, this Mongolian, this is Chinese Remy, over here on this side, nigga, this is European, that's 18 inch right there, now this one right here, that's 10 inch, so I can give you that for half, all that kind of, you can buy hair now like it ain't no thing, so gumbo rant, honey kissed, honey blonde, sun kissed, honey blonde. So, anyway, so, yeah, um, y'all, moral of the story is, I did it myself. Fuck it. I did it myself. It took about, mm, close to an hour to lift it to this because I did not put any tint or anything in there. I didn't put any bleach or anything. That's really harsh on the hair anyway. And even with this, I'm going to need to, you know, really, um, uh, you know, condition the hair because I didn't wrap it up or anything last night. Bitch just went to sleep like I was a straight, like I was Sally like a motherfucker. Nigga, I went to sleep with hair all over his face and all over the, yeah. That nigga thought I was, he was in the bed with somebody else and that nigga was rubbing and sn smelling and sniffing and shit and kissing me on my motherfucking back and moved my hair to the side. This nigga was kissing all this right here. Nigga, don't play. Shit, that nigga ready for work this morning. Don't you play. Okay, that nigga go, okay, what you need me to do today? Okay, no problem. That nigga gonna be on time. You hear me? Anyway. So, let me go in here and figure out what I need to do with my daughter's hair. Y'all, I, I took my shears down yesterday. You know, because I was trying to be cute and shit. And had my shears all down all around my bed and shit. Now I'm trying to put this shit back. You know, because these motherfuckers be all over the place. It's some, uh, this is some, um... Uh, Jasmine, uh, Alibaba, some old, yeah, I love it though. But I'm gonna get me a bigger bed. I want me a bigger bed. I want a king now, nigga. I want me a big ass motherfucker, you know, post a bed with the shears. That's what I want, y'all. We'll see. And, uh, anyway, on that note, let me go figure out what I need to do about my daughter's hair. I just wanted to come in right quick because a couple of people was asking about my hair. So I wanted to give y'all a rundown and the ski low low about this right here. I did it myself, uh, 40, um, maximum length developer, no tent, no nothing, took about an hour or so, and I did put it under the dryer and all that shit, so, it is what the fuck it is, I like it, everybody don't like to like it, you know what I'm saying, I know y'all on that Ronald McDonald, that ain't my shit, I, 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 hey, look, check this out, I'm already giving them all this and all this and all this right here and this, 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 nigga, I can't, look, what is this, a neon sign, fuck that. I'm not going to draw so much attention to what's already there already. And if I was rocking the Ronald McDonald and I'm already, man, shit. What the fuck is this coming down the street? What the fuck is, what's going on? Nah, you ain't finna catch me on one of them. Fuck that. That ain't going down. So, anyway, on that note, family, <clears throat> let me go do my daughter's hair. Tioni! Tioni! She hear me calling. She heard me. She heard me the first goddamn time. You ready? All right, let's roll. I'm out. Love you guys. Deuces. Bye.